Well, tonight a couple wants to make parents aware of a condition that nearly took the life of their toddler, and they want you to know about the drug that saved him. Yeah, the child is in is the first in the country, rather, with this condition to get emergency use of a drug not approved in the U.S. Medical reporter Meg Ferris spent time with the family today. Jacob and Katie Landry didn't think their little boy Colden would make it to his third birthday. It was heart heart drenching. For sure. He got to the point where he did code in the hospital, and, uh, and that, that, that was the point where family and friends started coming out. A year ago, he got sick, bloody diarrhea, vomiting, then skin spots. Doctors saw his kidneys were shutting down. So Colden was airlifted to a hospital in Gainesville, Florida. That's five hours away from their home. Jacob is from Slidell, but stationed in the Florida Panhandle, serving in the Air Force. Mom, Katie, is a patient care tech, studying to be a registered nurse. I just sat there and I said, why? And I mean, there was no answer to it. You will never get an answer, but... It's just something you have to get through. Colden's heart and kidneys were not functioning. He had an infection from E. coli, a bacterium found in the stool of people and animals. It can come from undercooked ground meat, unwashed vegetables, or swimming pools and water parks when swallowing water contaminated maybe by a child's diaper. The infection caused hemolytic ureic syndrome, or HUS. You've got to see your doctor. And the reason why is because the, the further this goes along, the, law, the more kidney function you're going to lose, the harder it is for this to come back. The doctors got emergency approval for an IV monoclonal antibody called eculizumab. It's used in Europe but not approved in the U.S. Colden had to get a meningitis vaccine to protect from that side effect. The decision to try it was the toughest his parents ever had to make. It worked. Colden began to improve. I sat there and I thanked God every day. I wasn't too close to God, and I feel like this situation definitely brought, brought Katie and I and our whole family closer. If your child is in any type of river or a lake or a, a big swimming pool or, or a, a place where like these big water parks, um, or even if they eat some undercooked beef, ground beef, and they start having fatigue and tea colored urine, and fever and chills and vomiting and, and bloody diarrhea. They need to go to a hospital immediately. Colden's kidneys are back to 43%. He's on a special diet and may one day need a transplant. For now, they're giving this special T-shirt to anyone who gives a donation to help with costs. And they're looking forward to their Make-A-Wish trip to Disney World later this year. Meg Farris, Eyewitness News, Medical Watch. So the family needs your help. They want anyone to send positive video messages to Colden, focusing on his progress. You can upload those to their Facebook page. We do have a link to that, to the t-shirts and the GoFundMe page with this story on our website.